Hey guys, you're watching Just Wish. This time we are taking you to the bird paradise of Odisha. That's Mangla Jodi. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to enable notification whenever I'm on YouTube, and let's roll the intro. At first, I'd like to thank our travel sponsors MoCabs for taking us to Mangla Jodi and back. MoCab is a non-demand cab service in and around Bhubaneswar. You can book your cab on the app available on Play Store and MoCab will make your travel plans happen just like this one. For more information, please head to the description below. Now it was pitch dark when we started from Bhuvaneshwar and our mocap took about 10 hours time to reach this village called Tangi and from Tangiru you take left and take about 10 more kilometers from there to reach this Mangla Jodi wetland. <laughs> We arrived at this point where there was this watchtower at one side and on the other side you could see the jetty where all these country boats were parked like sardines and the sun was oozing gold while we were getting ready to get into our boats. So the plan started in a way that uh, I had a quick word with my friend here Devashish. Hi, good morning. And this is Sri Krishna Das, he is a photographer and my wildlife partner there. We decided to take this Sunday as an opportunity to come see the birds at Mangla Jodi. We are here, let's go ahead and explore this place. I can't wait to, you know, so we are going to take one of these, one of these boats and then it's basically going to meander through the wetlands. Let's check it out. Let's go. Our guide Ganesh told us that the best way to spot the birds is to follow his instruction and treat the boat like the dials of the clock and look at the time position he indicates. So for instance, you'll be looking straight and then he says, look at 2 p.m. and you go poop. That's the best way to spot birds because they are there only for a few seconds and then they fly away. <laughs> They can try to tear us down, but the sun comes back around. I feel so light, I feel so free Touch the sky, no gravity You and me, me and you That's all we need to make it through The moment's now, eyes open wide Tonight the stars collide Narden Sopler Narden Pintel Situated in the northern fringes of Chilika, Mangla Jodi is a wetland spread approximately about 10 square kilometers. It is primarily fresh water connected by channels cutting through reed beds and brackish water from the Chilika lagoon nearby. These wetlands host close to about 300,000 birds in peak season. The story of Mangla Jodi and its people is truly a conservation case study. In case you don't know, Mangla Jodi was notoriously infamous for poachers who killed these birds that had migrated into the wetlands. The village in fact was known as Poachers Village. It was so bad that in the year 2000, the census revealed a mere 5,000 birds in these wetlands. They can try to tear us down, but 
But the sun comes back around I feel so light, I feel so free Touch the sky, you no know, gravity You and me, me and you That's all we need to make it through The moments now, eyes open wide Tonight the stars collide It is said that a gentleman named Nand Kishore Bhujwal, fondly known as Bhujwal Babu, entered the scene and changed the destiny of Chilika forever. Bhujwal Babu returned to his village Tangi, which is nearby, when Mangla Jodi was experiencing rampant poaching of these birds. It was happening at a commercial scale and even the eggs were not spared. His love and compassion for these birds was so strong that he made it his life's mission to save these feathered creatures. Back then, poaching was spearheaded by a gang of 12 notorious men known as the Dirty Dozen. Bhujwal Babu now had this daunting task to change their perspective towards sustainable living and conservation through ecotourism. How this change happened and what were in the roads to this success story, well, that deserves a whole different video. For now, let's enjoy the reinstated numbers of these beautiful birds. <laughs> Two, three, two, out three o'clock, Mathir. Get there, thousand and thousand. They can try to tear us down, but the sun comes back around. I feel so light, I feel so free. Touch the sky, you no know, gravity. You and me, me and you. That's all we need to make it through The moments now eyes open wide Tonight the stars collide We were slowly floating in these wetlands in these carefully carved channels that basically let folks like us get up close and personal at the same time ensure that we do not plow through and damage the weeds that are there which were absolutely crucial for the survival of these birds now here's a conservation tip if you happen to come to Mangla Jodi and are in one of these boats don't urge your boatman to break the channel to get an up close view in broad sense of the term some photographers are known to do this to get that perfect shot but that's particularly not good for the wetland or the birds so just keep that in mind. So what we are told is that the birds come here for this weed. That's what they feed on. And there are miles and miles ahead of just wetland and these weeds. understanding of the situation and the birds is that things have improved considerably over the last 20 years due to conservation efforts from people like Bhujwal Babu and team and collective effort by authorities and the villagers nearby. But like all conservation challenges, human conflict still prevails. There still are villages around that continue to poach these birds for their meat and egg. Namagla Chodi is a fragile ecosystem. It needs to be protected and promoted. It appears that conscious ecotourism is the only way out here where the villagers around can get a sustainable livelihood and are motivated to save the birds for the long run. Also, fishing in such wetlands should be regulated by authorities to avoid further death of birds. Watch. They can try to tear us down, but the sun comes back around. I feel so light. So free, touch the sky, no gravity. You and me. 
Well, that was our experience of Mangla Jodi, and I would urge you to visit Mangla Jodi this birding season and take in the beautiful, mesmerizing wetlands of Odisha and its feathered guests. Lastly, I would like to thank our travel sponsors, Vocabs, for making this travel happen. And if you're interested in using their service, you can use the coupon code JUSTWISH and avail flat 10% discount till April 2018. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friend and comment below. There are more interesting videos coming up on this channel. I will see you in the next one. Until then, don't forget to live life with a dash of adventure. Bye-bye.